Now, almost two weeks after a bloody accident claimed lives of six Kampala International University students, the University Vice Chancellor, Dr. Mohamed Mezam Higo, is appealing a better rodeos. Uh, Menza Mihigo says that though they have not yet received the accident report from Uganda police, all indications are that careless driving from all parties was to blame for the fatalities. A sombre mood still fills Kampala International University following the perishing of six students in an accident a fortnight ago. The students, are most of whom of Rwandese descent, were returning from Nakasongola on tour. Now, the University Vice Chancellor, Dr. Mohamed Mpezamihigo, is advising road users to ensure discipline during this upcoming festive period. The message here really is not to uh, refresh the pain that uh, went to the families, to the university community, but is to make a passionate call and appeal to our drivers, the motorists. It's, it's a very serious problem and uh, we are going into this season of excitement and celebrations and ending the year and people, you know, accounting and saying, no, I've made it, 2017 is, is now coming to an end. We would like to appeal to the general public to abide by the traffic regulations, to really keep, uh, to drive safely, to avoid drinking uh, while driving, to, to really ensure that uh, they keep the safety of the passengers. The Vice Chancellor appeals to the international students to forget the incident and focus on pursuing academic excellence. This message comes just days before the university's 17th graduation ceremony, slated for Saturday this week. This number has risen significantly uh, because of the fact that we have expanded on our bursary profile. There isn't a single district in Uganda that does not have a bursary scheme uh, through KIU. So this is really being realized. And we think, whereas this is an international university, uh, we can still support uh, our local students uh, who uh, come here on merit and who go out and become and remain competitive. John Ban Sendam, reporting.